Hey guys, Axe here from Gamers Armory, and today I just wanted to jump in and do a little quick run through of how the community section works on the website, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for some people who haven't seen one quite like what we've got. Uh, I've opted for a system that uh, is able to grow with the community. Everyone's able to create their own groups and administer the groups themselves, make private groups, all that sort of stuff. So no matter how big the, the Gamers Armory community gets, everyone will be able to go off and do their own thing and our community section of the website will expand with that growth automatically. And that's, uh, you know, I felt that that was a hell of a lot better system than just simply a, you know, a normal forum. Even though people are familiar with that already, the little learning curve that there is for this system I think the benefits far outweigh the sort of old straightforward forum system that cannot simply just grow with community. It, it requires, you know, administrators, people moderating it, all that sort of stuff, whereas this is semi-autonomous essentially. So that's why we've uh, gone down that road. So I'm going to walk through account creation today and then quickly joining a group so that you can jump in and chat and sign up for events and all that sort of stuff. So first thing we do, you can see straight away from the home page on the right hand side here, the sign in with Facebook button is there. Now that's the same as you would have seen in websites all, you know, all over the web essentially. The, the, you, it just uses the normal Facebook API login and it will pull information after you give it permission from Facebook uh, into the Gamers Armory website so that you don't have to fill out the details basically. Alternatively, if you just want an account that works on Gamers Armory website, you can just click the create an account uh, link on the right hand side. Uh, but I'm going to go the long way, so to speak. And firstly, I'm going to click up the top right hand corner on the community button. And this will take us to the community homepage section of our website. And here you can see the uh, recent activities. Uh, section just listing all the different things that we've been up to and what people have been doing. Uh, now that we're here, we just click on the Join Us Now button and that will take us to the user creation form basically. So, this is no different to what I'm sure you guys have seen. I'm not sure about that capture a million times over. So, uh, yeah, we'll just fill out the details. Okay, so click on the next button. If I didn't stuff up the capture, yeah, it goes through. So now this section here is, that's basically the user creation section done. All of this is optional. Um, yeah, so I'm just putting in some basic information about myself. Uh, yeah, and you obviously you don't need to put in address and all that sort of stuff. I've just left it there as optional. If people want, they can chuck it in, but no one's obligated to do any of that. Now, finally, click on register. And that's how fast you can basically make an account. This is just the profile. Again, you can just hit next and skip it completely. Um, if you want, you can upload your own picture, all that sort of stuff. It gives you the details right there. Oops, did I not click on it? Yeah, there we go. Try again. User account has been created, activation link has been sent to your email, etc., etc. So, yeah, that's how quickly you can get in. Again, two of the three steps in there were completely optional. Um, but yeah, uh, I think, you know, if you can take the time to do the avatar at least, that'd be really cool. It makes you stand out a little bit when you're making posts on the website. But nevertheless, I'm going to quickly confirm the activation e that I get via email and then we will look at jumping in and getting involved in one of our community groups. Okay so I've just clicked on the activation link that was emailed to me and yeah as you can see here your account has been successfully activated blah blah blah. 
So now we can log into the, the website. And if I didn't forget to type anything, then yeah, all basically done. So I can edit the profile immediately or just skip this section. This is just showing basic information here. I'm just gonna go straight to the community section again. So just clicking on the community button up the top right hand side. And yeah, basically now you can see we got all different options along here that we can go into. I'm not gonna cover those today. I'll, I really just wanna focus on getting people into the into the groups and all that sort of stuff. Now you'll see I've made some quick little links up the top here for different groups that people may be interested in. Most of us are in the Rift group at the moment, so that's the one we're gonna focus on. So all you need to do is click on the Rift link and that will take us to the Rift group. So you can see here, oops, don't highlight the whole thing. Rift, obviously the big logo, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, you can click on different tabs along here. So, you know, the discussions, all that sort of stuff. Discussions, uh, the equivalent of a forum post, I guess, if you wish. Uh, so when you go in, you can, yeah, this is a really long one. But um, I'll just try and scroll down the bottom a little bit. He copied all the patch notes in there, but yeah, you can see basically. Uh, yeah, it's got different, yeah, obviously it's just responded to him, Talon's just responded to himself there. Uh, as you can see on the notification here, these notifications will come up until you join the group. So you need to be a member of this group before you can participate in this, dis in this discussion, if I can spit it out. So now I'll go up and do it the manual way. So I'm just going to go back to the Rift group and then I'll show you now immediately right here on the right hand side you'll see group options join group so I'm just going to click on join group and then it says you have successfully joined this group so all that basically means is now I can sign up for events I can post back to the group all that sort of stuff and it means that the group administrators can monitor what I do and say and all that sort of stuff so again this may be slightly more involved than a forum but the whole point is is that now this group can run itself and anyone is able to create groups on the Gamers Armory website anytime they wish they can make them for any basically any reason they want um, as long as they're not uh, in breach of any of the terms and conditions obviously but yeah that's the whole purpose of this system and you'll see now I can I can get I can see the recent activities you know announcements discussion the whole whole bunch of stuff so yeah, the, now the next little thing we need to do is people want to know how to join up on different events. So you can see here that uh, this is an event that I created a few days ago for a Tuesday night raid. So yeah, there's, um, you can see a full list of events here, but a lot of these are just showing old events and stuff like that. The fastest way is just to simply find the next one listed in the recent activities thread because generally people are going to be signing up for the most recent one obviously and therefore you can just simply click on Tuesday Night Raid and when that loads you'll see it just has basic details, the times uh, you know yeah obviously locations are relevant but um, the day it's on all that sort of stuff how many people have booked, how many are left in in that sort of um, for that raid and now all you need to do is where it says are you attending this event I just click attend and that's it done it, it automatically if I can find me yeah there I am so you can confirm guess I'm already in there so it's in there immediately Internet Explorer does do this a little bit differently um, I'm not a big fan of it so I don't use it but uh, yeah all, all that happens if you do do this on Internet Explorer is generally it will give you a notification that you've applied for the event and you just click on that and accept the invitation essentially. So either way works perfectly fine but uh, yeah that's all you need to do to sign up for the raids. Uh, if we refresh this page I believe the seats available should go down to four. Yep there we go. So easy peasy. Hopefully that clears up the whole process of getting in and 
joining events and raids and all that sort of stuff. If uh, anyone has any further questions, then uh, please let me know. Obviously, you can. Uh, that should cover most of the things that people have been getting caught up on, I think. But uh, yeah, if uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see changed or whatever it may be, just let me know. And if it's possible, then we'll look at doing it. But as always, guys, have fun, and I'll be talking to you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.